There are also two promising developments this morning that we want to get to in the race to find a vaccine for the coronavirus. Charlie Daggett has that part of the story. Two front runners in the hunt for the vaccine, both reporting great strides. The U.S. backed Oxford University project announced it's rapidly expanding human testing. The plan vaccinate 10,260 people across Britain, including children aged 5 to 12, volunteers over 70, and frontline health care workers. The really critical question, though, is whether the vaccine protects people. And of course, we can only address that question once enough cases have occurred in the clinical trial. Here's how it works. Genetic material from the coronavirus is injected into a weakened version of the common cold virus. The modified virus mimics COVID-19, kickstarting the immune system to attack if the real COVID enters the body. From the original epicenter China, scientists using a similar vaccine method report promising results too. In tests on 108 volunteers, CanSino Biologics say researchers identified immune responses, including antibodies, needed to ward off COVID infection. They may be competing, but in the race to find a vaccine, even researchers say they hope there's more than one winner. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Charlie Daggett, London.